This is a recast of the 6100 word piece, React.js, the powerful JavaScript framework, from GPT-5. Let's listen in. The article begins by giving a brief introduction to React.js, which is widely used by developers globally for building user-friendly and dynamic web applications. React.js, often referred to as React, is an open-source JavaScript library used to create user interfaces, particularly for single-page applications. It allows developers to create reusable UI components that can update and render independently. React was initially developed by Jordan Walk, a software engineer at Facebook, and was first used in Facebook's newsfeed in 2011. Two years later, it was released as an open-source project. This move was in response to the increasing complexity of modern web applications and the challenges associated with managing dynamic user interfaces. Both Facebook and Instagram were among the early adopters of React to enhance the performance and user experience of their applications. Moving on, since its release, React has undergone numerous updates and improvements. The introduction of hooks in React 16.8 was a significant change that enabled developers to utilize state and other React features in functional components. Other important updates include the introduction of the Context API for better handling of global state and the improvement of server-side rendering capabilities. The current version of React places great emphasis on performance, developer experience, and the ability to utilize modern features of the JavaScript language. Why should developers use React.js? One reason is its component-based architecture that facilitates the creation of modular and reusable UI components, making it easier to develop and maintain large applications. Another advantage is React's utilization of a virtual DOM which processes changes efficiently and performs minimal updates on the actual DOM, thus improving performance. Moreover, React's unidirectional data flow simplifies debugging and tracking of data. With hooks, developers can manage state and side effects in functional components, making the code cleaner and more understandable. Lastly, React benefits from a strong community and an extensive ecosystem of libraries and tools. It is often compared with other front-end frameworks and libraries like Angular and Vue.js. Compared to these frameworks, React offers more flexibility and modularity. This gives developers the freedom to integrate only the required libraries and tools needed for their project. Now, let's talk about some application areas of React.js. Social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram use React for delivering interactive and high-performance user interfaces. Besides social media, many e-commerce sites use React to ensure a smooth and fast user experience. Moreover, companies use React for internal dashboards, CRM systems, and other business applications. Also, some modern content management systems utilize React for developing flexible and user-friendly frontends. Indeed, React has established itself as a powerful library that helps developers create complex web applications efficiently. The next section of the article takes us through the fundamentals of React.js. A central concept is the one-way data flow, wherein data flows in a single direction from parent components to child components. This means that data is propagated through the application from top to bottom, simplifying debugging and making state changes easier to trace. Unidirectional data flow ensures that a component manages its state and passes it to its children via props. The article also covers the basics of setting up a React project. After installing Node.js and the Node Package Manager in PEM, developers can create a new React application using the command nux create react app my app. The article then dives into advanced concepts like hooks, the context API, and routing with React Router, followed by state management in React applications. For effective state management, libraries like Redux, Mobex, and Zustin can be utilized. React developers also have access to performance optimization techniques that include understanding re-rendering mechanisms using Shoal Component Update, React.memo, and Pure Component, as well as code splitting and lazy loading. The article also highlights the importance of testing React applications to ensure reliability and freedom from errors. Tools like Jest for unit tests and the React testing library for integration tests can be used. Lastly, the article delves into best practices and patterns in React, like structuring projects efficiently, creating reusable components, and using design patterns such as presentational and container components, higher order components, and render props. 
For styling React components, techniques like CSS and JS, styled components, and emotion can be employed. Overall, the article is a comprehensive guide that covers everything a developer needs to know about working with React.js. That's it for today. 